Okay, I've been kind of hard on the Suicide Squad. The first trailer back in March really didn't grab me. It just didn't pull me in and make me excited for the movie. It looked like a film filled with James Gunn's worst tendencies. Loud noises, poop and dick jokes, overly wacky characters, cheesy dialogue, and it really seemed like he was trying to capture that Guardians of the Galaxy magic again, to no avail. I don't know, I really didn't like it. Maybe I was depressed that day or in a bad mood that morning when I watched it. Maybe I went into it with a bad attitude. I'm admitting that it's possible because now I'm really excited for this movie. And it's not because of the early reactions and the great Rotten Tomatoes score. I do not give a damn about Rotten Tomatoes. And I try to not listen too closely to reviews because you never really know how a movie is going to be until you experience it. No, it's not that. I've just slowly changed my mind on this. I saw a second trailer, then a few TV spots, then a third trailer, and all the footage I was seeing just kept getting better and better. I stopped cringing at the jokes and started cracking a smirk at some of them. The moment I saw this trailer in the theaters, with the lights down low and the bass booming in my ear, it just hit me. Holy sh**. This looks like a really fun time. I was totally entranced. Beforehand, I was saying that it looked way too goofy, way too wacky. What? They're fighting Starro, a Justice League villain? What? Polka Dot Man? Really? God, John Cena's costume looks really lame. Oh, they're just replacing Deadshot with Bloodsport? Wow. King Shark is just gonna be a ripoff Groot? Javelin? Weasel? Peacemaker? What is this? But then a realization hit me. I am always asking for these movies to be comic accurate. I complain about elements in both Marvel and DC movies that I don't like because they aren't like the comics all the time. I am in awe sometimes at how disconnected from the comic books these comic book movies are and it pisses me off. Ezra Miller's hair and lightning color, Jason Momoa's Aquaman, the Mandarin twist, the X-Men costumes, Maguire's organic web shooters, Michael Keaton's black bat suit, Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock, and the list goes on and on. Here I am, always complaining about how these movies don't embrace the comics enough, but I'm gonna criticize the Suicide Squad for being too comic booky? I'm being a complete hypocrite, and I can admit it. These costumes and characters are ripped straight from the comics. They are so faithful, and they are fully embracing the stupidity. I love it. Look at this. Polka Dot Man could have worn black leather and been a really grounded character with a super edgy past. But look at him. He is ripped straight from the comics. A man who throws polka dots. We're seeing that on screen. It isn't just another guy with a gun or another guy who is strong. He throws polka dots for God's sakes. I never thought I would see him in a movie. Peacemaker is ripped straight from the comics. Harley Quinn, Rick Flagg, King Shark, Bloodsport, Captain Boomerang. I'm always asking for stuff like this, but then I'm gonna complain when I actually get it? Come on, Pickle. This looks like a wild, fun ride, and it knows what it wants to be. Now, will all of the dialogue land, and will I love all of these characters? Will John Cena actually give a great performance? Probably not, but I sure do respect the hell out of what they're doing here. They are swinging for the fences, and as a self-proclaimed MCU fanboy myself, that's something that I can admit Marvel Studios rarely does. I'm also excited that some of these characters are gonna die during the mission. We haven't really had a superhero movie before where we really thought some of the main characters might die. So if this is true, it'll be a nice change of pace and hopefully add some stakes to the film. Plus that R rating? 
I'm pumped to see some people get ripped open and blown apart in a superhero movie. It's very rare these days. And I guess that's my whole point here. This movie seems very rare for today's comic book movie standards. It's fully embracing the comic book cheesiness, killing main characters, it's rated R, full of a lot of great actors, and it's written and directed by someone who is proven in the genre. Wow. I am actually really excited for The Suicide Squad. This is insane. I didn't even know if I was gonna watch it a few months ago. But that's how it goes. Opinions can change and evolve over time when given different information. And my view on this film has completely shifted. Look, this movie might be garbage and I'll look like a complete idiot after this. I don't know. All I know is, I'm personally excited. And it's nice to be excited for things every once in a while. There is so much garbage that is released nowadays, and I destroy so much crap that I'm kind of looking forward to really loving something. So please, please be great, Suicide Squad. Hell, I'll even take good. Just be good. DC sorely needs a good movie, and I'm thinking this could be one of them. Alright guys, I just had to get that off my chest. I've been feeling this way for a couple of weeks now, and I didn't want my only opinion of this movie to be my trailer reaction. So there you go. If you like grown man babies being honest with themselves, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you don't like me or my content, you can eat my unshowered ass. Thank you for watching, and until next time my friends, peace out.